what is up beautiful world and welcome back to another studio saturdays today in this episode we're going to be going over how to get blacks and whites to look completely perfect without having any um this this word i don't know how to pronounce we'll just put it here i say moira m i o r e basically where colors appear to change so blacks and images will sometimes contain blues greens or hints of red in them and whites will sometimes contain hints of blue uh, cyan and often magenta in them which makes them look not appropriate because it's it's meant to be a white not a rainbow so we're going to show you how to tackle that with one super simple easy step in today's lesson so now we're just going to jump right into photoshop what we have here so i have a image here uh, that's primarily composed of black and white imagery as you can see we have some yellow here some green in the background uh, and we obviously need to get a skin tone back to normal so what i'm going to do really quick is i'm just going to run through this and basically talk to you guys how i'm editing through this so what i'm doing here is i'm going to adjust my temperature up until I get roughly a normal skin tone. I want his skin tone to be warm. I want it to be a natural skin tone again. Uh, and then we're just gonna adjust this to pull some of that green out. If you see, we're gonna pull some of that green out by changing it to a magenta. Then we can adjust that up a little bit more, just like so. And you can see we're only going at plus nine. Now we're gonna adjust the exposure just to really, if I have any deep, deep shadows, which I don't really have in this image, everything's in perfect lightness, so I've really only came up by uh, 0.2. And we're just gonna adjust our contrast a little, just to really draw in that this hoodie is black. And I can tell you from right now, I'm starting to pick up reds in the hoodie, um, so we're gonna have to deal with that. I'm gonna turn the highlights down, just so we draw more into the image. We're gonna lighten the shadows up a little bit just so we get some of those creases out. We're gonna lighten the whites now. So we're adding in a little bit to the background. Gonna brighten up inside the black so this way this center arm has a little bit of shape to it. We're gonna increase the clarity. Adjust for a little bit of texture in here. Add in a little dehaze and this is where the magic really happens. So now we're gonna go into our camera calibration for colors and what we're gonna do we're going to pull this down this way, we're going to shift the greens this way, and then if I pull, maybe I'm going the wrong way. Hold up. We're going to reset these really quick. So we're going to adjust to there. So I do believe the image is too warm. So we're gonna adjust to this. Like so. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to adjust the lightness in the skin tone, you see? You can adjust it like so. So we can really give them back a skin tone. Uh, and then we're going to play with the yellows here, which are going to be highlighting off of here. You can see where the greens pull in from the bushes in the background. As you can see, we shouldn't be having any of these, although I guarantee you we're having some of them. So I'm going to actually boost all of them, of the colors that we're not supposed to have. I'm going to put them all to max, and I'll show you really what I'm talking about when I tell you how we're going to adjust all these. Just gonna add a little bit of luminance in. Adjust these curves like so. And bada bing bada boom. Before after, or not really before after because it's a new edit. So now we have this in, ready set, ready to rumble, good to go. My hair's poking out of my hat. Like so, ready set, rumble. And now I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So when I said that these colors uh, typically pick up 
different colors, here's what I'm talking about. So you can see in the whites here, we're actually picking up blue, purple, uh, the magentas that I was talking about. And if you scroll down and you look really like closely inside the blacks here, you can actually see uh, the reds and oranges appearing uh, along with some traces of blues across here. That's what we don't want. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that with one super simple step. And it's so mind-blowingly simple. It's the easiest thing you have to do. But first, obviously, you have to retouch your image just because retouching is retouching and you have to do it regardless of what you want to do. So, we're gonna retouch first. If my retouch would work. Oh, yeah. Helps when you're not selected on what you think you're selected on. So we're just gonna retouch this really quick. All right guys, so I did all my major retouching on his face and stuff like that. Um, so you can see the before and after here. And that's all fine and dandy, but now we're gonna get into how to eliminate that different coloring happening inside your image that you don't wanna happen. And one thing I love to do is you just duplicate the layer. Next thing you do is you go image, adjustments, desaturate. So that removes all color, it turns into a black and white photo. Then what you do, drag it down to create a layer mask, then control or command I to invert your layer mask. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to come in here and wherever you want your layer mask, you're gonna paint in. And one thing I like to do is hit the backslash key, I believe it is. Um, and the backslash key will allow you to see basically in red where you are painting. Uh, I find this really, really helpful for doing uh, a lot of detailed edits because you really get to see how much you're actually retouching, where you're retouching, and just in case like you accidentally touch somewhere like that, it'll, it'll show you exactly where you're touching so you know if you painted over something or if you're going a little too far um, with that or if you need to reduce the hardiness or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So it really allows you to have a lot more control um, with your editing. And I think that's really what a lot of editing is about. It's about having a lot of control and knowing what you're doing. So here we're just desaturating the hat, like so. So just removed a little bit of color from the hat. Now we're basically just gonna be focusing on the jeans, which are meant to be black. 
as well as the sweatshirt. So we're just going to desaturate all of this really quick and then see what happens when you invert it like that. It'll show you basically exactly where you're touching. So now we can come back in. Obviously he has color in his hands, so we want to paint that back in and the color from the wood as well. We're actually going to leave the watch black and white, however, just because I think it'll add to it. Um, really want to make sure we're taking away everything else that's on the clothing. And then that we're taking away everything off to the sides here. And if you want to, you can even use your quick selection tool uh, with a 3x3 average to kind of select some areas. Like stuff like this. It's this way you can just come in here and paint it away really quickly. Like that. And you can just control or command D to back out of it. Hit the backslash again to get rid of that. And then you can see what we're actually doing here. So if you come and see right here. So we had a lot of striping uh, with a lot of magentas and blues in here. But just from a desaturation layer, we took that away. And then if I even wanted to go a step further, we could add a curves level. We're going to create a clipping mask. So now it's only going to adjust what's on that layer there. And then you can see we can play with this more. So I can really bring those white sleeves out by pushing that up. And I can really start to mellow out some of the blacks or the darker uh, regions in the hoodie by just playing with some of these curves. So just by doing that, playing with the curves a bit, so now I'm going to group these. I'm going to hold shift, click on two, control or command G. And now you guys will be able to see what really happened just from this layer. So we're going to zoom in over here. I'm going to slide this all the way over. So you guys can really see what's going on between the hat uh, as well as the hoodie here. So. It was very, very colored, disoriented. It didn't look good. Um, and with a simple desaturation layer, with a layer mask, with a curves adjustment, now we have a black and white hoodie as it's supposed to be with the brightness that it's supposed to be without any of these additional colors added super simple way to get natural and clean black and whites in your images without disturbing anything else in the image. As you can see, we still have the coloring along the fence, along everything else, but the clothing looks how it should. And that's all you have to do is a simple, simple desaturation layer with a layer mask and a curves. Black and whites have never been so easy before in your life. I really hope this helped you guys. And I hope to see you in the next Studio Saturday. If this video was helpful for you, hit that thumbs up button. If this video wasn't helpful and you kind of got distracted, leave a comment as to what I can improve upon or a suggestion for the next topic I should cover. Other than that, I'll see you guys next Saturday. Peace.